Hello and welcome to another FreeCAD tutorial with me, Andrew. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this ball joint uh, using FreeCAD. I found this on Pinterest and I thought it looked pretty awesome, so I thought I'd show you guys how to actually create it. Um, so let's get into it. So the first thing I've done, I've created a new document. I'm in part design and I've created a sketch on the XY plane. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the construction um, icon. I'm going to add a circle and I'm going to constrain that circle to 140 radius. I then want to add some further construction lines. So I'm going to click along here using the line construction tool, like so. That's basically going to allow us to create our circular points at intervals around this construction circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to constrain those so that this is 60 degrees. 60 degrees between these two points, 60 degrees between these two points, and 60 degrees between these two points. Now I should have constrained these two as well, um, so that's all right. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to flick back to the geometry tab, click on the circle, and I'm going to start laying some circles around on these points, 60 degree interval points. Now it doesn't matter about the size because what I'm about to do now is I'm going to click on one, hold shift, and then I'm going to click on the rest. And I'm going to constrain the radius like so. And if you come up with this, say yes. And the radius of these is going to be 36 millimeters. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm going to add in some small circles to the center of these circles. So I'm going to click on my geometry circle and just start laying in some more circles in the center these ones. Again, it doesn't matter about the size because we're going to constrain those now. So I'm clicking on that one and holding shift, clicking all the way around, and I'm going to constrain the radius of these, yes, to uh, five millimeters, like so. I'm then going to add in a arc tool. So this is center and endpoints, and this is just points, which then allows us to actually create the radius. So if I click on this side of the circle and this side of the circle, I can then drag down. So I've got two endpoints and then the radius. So I'm going to create a radius around joining all of these circles. So make sure it turns yellow. And try and keep it above the actual blue line, mainly because when it comes to doing a tangent later on after this, um, it will make it a little bit easier. I believe that hasn't actually joined, but I'll look. No, so that doesn't join. Just recreate that one. And last one. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to constrain all of these. So holding shift and clicking on all of them. I'm going to constrain the radius, yes, to 76 mil. And then I'm going to start doing a tangent so that these lines actually flow into these circles all these arcs flow into these circles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the tangent tool, which is this tool up here, click on the line, click on the circle, and then exactly the same for the rest of these arcs going into circles. And there we go, now it's turned green, so it's all constrained. What I'm going to do is now is I'm just going to start deleting little bits just to clean up this um, this overall geometry. So I'm going to click on this tool up here, the center tool, and I'm going to start trimming in the actual geometry. Oh, it's actually gone now. Click on it again. Now the reason why I'm doing these inside circles first is because if I was to do this one and then try and do that one, it doesn't actually allow me to do it. So you'd have to come out of it and physically delete it. Um, so just make sure or try to keep them. It's easy not. It's easy to do it, but you know it just makes it a lot easier to use the same tool consistently. So now I'm going to clean up on the insides here. Like so. Last one. There we go. So we've now cleaned up what we actually need. So it's still constrained, we're going to close that, zoom out, I'm going to click the extrude, and I'm going to extrude that to 20mm. 
Right, so now that we've created our base for our ball joint, we actually want to create the you know the main element of the ball joint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the sketch icon, click on the X and Z plane, click OK, and I'm going to start sketching out what I require. So uh, what I want to do first is I want to create a line which just travels up from about there to there. Uh, I'm going to constrain firstly this point to this point, which is going to be the thickness of our of our plate. Our, our base, which is going to be 20 mil. Um, I then want to create um, an arc. So from this point uh, to around about this point, like so. And I'm going to take this point and this point, and I'm going to create a horizontal constraint. I'm then going to make the radius of that 100 mil, like so. The constraint for this centerpiece to the bottom, so the actual uh, base uh, origin is up to 150, and then we're just going to add in some more details. So I'm going to add in a line from this point over, and then I'm going to add in some more arcs. So this arc is going to go like so. I'm not entirely happy with that. add in another line which goes up and that's going to be a constraint from this point to this point and that's going to be 75 or 65 sorry uh, and then I need to add an arc between these two points like so so the radius of this point here is going to be 45 and the radius of this point here is going to be 25 so now what we need to do is just create a tangent between these two points. I'm going to click on the tangent tool, click on this arc, click on this arc. Let's create a tangent between this line, this line, and this line, and this arc. Like so. So we've got two degrees of freedom. What have we got? So we've got this here. What we're going to do is I'm going to constrain that in the horizontal, like so. And there's still one degree of freedom, which is here. So what I'm going to do is just click on that. No, click on the tangent tool, click on this arc, click on this line. Now what that's going to do is that's going to constrain our centerpiece. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close that and I'm going to create a revolve. Like so. So it's round the round Z 360 and I'm going to say OK. OK, so now that we've uh, created the centerpiece of our ball joint, what I'm going to do is create some 2D geometry, which I'm then going to pocket through uh, the actual ball. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the appearance of the body to about 50%. I'm then going to create a sketch on the YZ plane. And I'm going to start sketching out ge geometry. So what I want to do is just roughly do some arcs like this. And those arcs themselves, they're actually going to be 60 millimeter radius on this one. And the other two are going to be 80 millimeter radius, like so. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tangent these arcs onto this arc, like so. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to constrain in the vertical these two points. I'm then going to constrain the overall height to 150 millimeters. And then I'm going to try and align these two points up. So what I can then do is just take a construction line by clicking on this tab here, clicking on this line, and going across like so. I'm then going to constrain that vertical height to 182 millimeters. So now that we've constrained most of this geometry, what we've got, we've got two degrees of freedom, which are these two points on either side. So I'm going to click on the arc tab, click on both of these points, and move this radius up. And I can strain that to whatever I want, so let's say 140, uh, it doesn't matter too much. Um, and then the center point, I'm going to click on center point, click on this center point, which is the center point of the 60 millimeter radius, and I'm just going to click on this icon, which is then going to center it. And there we go, we've constrained the entire geometry. So we're going to close that, click on Pocket, and I'm going to click on this drop down tab and click on Two Dimensions. Now, the second dimension has already been set to 100mm, 
but I'm going to set that first dimension to 100 mm well and click OK. So now as you can see, we have now created the basis of our ball joint. Um, we've created the base, we've created the overall ball joint, and then we've created the pocket which goes through um, the center. So that's where I'm going to leave part one. I'm going to upload part two at exactly the same time as part one, so you should be able to transition from one video to the next. I'm trying to keep them uh, short and sweet so that you're not sitting there for 20, 30 minutes and getting bored. Uh, at least you can go off and do something else if you wanted to. Um, so thank you very much for watching part one. Hopefully I'll see you in part two.